Okay, um, for my second strategy, I'll be doing progressive overload. Um, for this strategy, this relates to uh, biophysical factors. I chose this, I chose this um, strategy because this will improve my swimming overall. If, if I don't use this strategy, I won't improve, I'll just keep on the same level. So, yeah, it should be a good strategy to do. By doing this strategy, each training I can make my drills the same distance, but for a, sh um, for a shorter time period, so push myself harder. Um, if I'm able to success successfully implement this strategy, I'll be a lot quicker, quicker swimmer and will have a lot better technique. This will help achieve my goal of merit because I'll be pushing myself harder to, in my training, so I'll make my desired times to make merit. <laughs> For this strategy, I'll be pushing myself a lot harder in trainings. I'll be swimming longer distances and also I'll be cutting my time, so I'm really pushing myself. So when I come to the test, I'm ready, I'm ready to go. I'll also, I'll, I'll know this strategy is working when I complete my drills. I make myself time limits, and if I can meet them, I know I'm improving. So each time I'll be having shorter times, but the same distances, so I can tell I'm getting faster and faster. Strategy two is to implement progressive overload. So I might take my performance to the next level. By doing this for each training, I'll push myself harder and harder. 